Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome to some Gear City. Uh, you guys are probably thinking, Rai, what the heck is Gear City and why are you playing it? Well, there's a couple of good questions to that. So Gear City is a car company tycoon game. Now you might be thinking now, um, is an Automation V car company tycoon game? Well, yes and no. Well, Automation is a car company tycoon game and it is the car company tycoon game. I think that's what the title goes by basically, car company tycoon game. Uh, Gear City is also a car company tycoon game that's been out for quite a while. Uh, it's more focused though on the business aspect of things, whereas Automation is like engineering, car design, uh, and also a, a tycoon aspect where this is just straight tycoon and a bit of car designing here and there as well. So basically, we are going to be playing uh, Gear City today on the channel. Uh, it's going to be a bit more of a chillax video, a bit, bit different, a bit different style. Hope you guys enjoy this. So we are uh, starting the year 1900. Uh, you can start from 1900 to 2020. We're starting 1900 on hard difficulty, so the second hardest difficulty. Um, I have like several over a thousand hours in this game easily. Uh, so it's not that difficult for me, but it's going to be very interesting with you guys just hanging out and chilling. So we're making a new game here. Uh, you can basically just choose whatever you want to start in the world. Um, you know, in automation, you have the uh, fictional countries. Well, in this, it's all based off of real countries, uh, real markets, real cars, etc. So if you guys like uh, like a tycoon strategy kind of car, tycoon company thing game, this is probably a good choice for you guys to try out as well. We're going to start off in good old-fashioned Canada, because where else do you start? In Winnipeg, Canada, that's near where I am. Uh, 1900, so it's a pretty old... It's, it's a while ago. I definitely wasn't born here are born then it wasn't born in the year 1900 maybe maybe not uh so you can see a couple things when you click on any any sort of city in the map you can click on new york we got london if i can click on it paris you can actually make it bigger because i can't click that small boston etc so we're starting in winnipeg canada here population of just 44,000. uh the per capita this is pretty much how much income or money they have every year to spend around there so you, you don't want to sell cars uh for much more than how much their per capita is uh, you can get yourself around twice as much. So basically what we're going to do is select that, start our company, and our company can't, name is to be called Maven Motors. It's the name I use a lot in a lot of my automation builds, etc. And this is this looks like a fine logo for now. We're going to call ourselves Mr. Rye, because what else do you do? And you can choose how much companies you want to be versing. And the default is 300 AI companies. And we'll leave it on default because it is the most challenging. There's also uh, top 10 companies, 25 companies, and child marks. So basically all the sub-brands. For example, if you do this, you'll have... Uh, their version of Volkswagen and all Volkswagen's sub-brands, etc. But we'll just choose 300, so it's 300 independent companies starting basically at the start of the automobile revolution. Is that what this is? Why not? So we're going to jump in there, start a campaign, and today we're just going to focus on sort of building a, you know, a car, designing it, and showing guys just sort of what the game is. So basically here we have our big office, we have a safe down here. Uh, and in this area, we can do all sorts of money-related stuff. We got, you know, stocks, we got a big pile of cash, we can take out loans, etc. So starting on one of the harder difficulties, we start off with not much cash. So we just have $450,000. But you gotta remember, this is in the year 1900, so that's a lot of money in the year 1900. Um, probably in the neighborhood of like $100 million, $100 million right now. I'm not too sure. Someone do the math for me. Um, what else do we have here? So we've got a couple things. A globe. Basically, we can just see like the world and see all the cities again and sort of see uh, and maintain our our, uh, our factories, our branches, etc. Our distribution network. All those fun things you guys are, I'm sure, just love. So this green dot right here is us. Uh, and that green dot actually means our factories. We have our factory right here. And if you just have a yellow dot, that's just a, a branch. But factories are more important. So that's what you see here. So we can sell cars and produce cars in good old Winnipeg. Go back to our office. Uh, a couple more things quickly before we actually design the car, our first vehicle. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. Uh, we might just focus on uh, building a car that can sell. This is our pretty much computer. Uh, an old-fashioned computer where you can manage production, manage, you know, selling vehicles, etc. This is your, like, ledger, so it tells you all your you know, your stats and all that fun stuff. Uh, this is your reports, and I think you guys can guess what that does. And this is, like, ma the magazine, so you can actually see car reviews. Uh, you can see... Um, all the best of the best for certain cars like right now a car that just came out uh 72 horsepower is the highest horsepower right now the uh derpia i i i don't know i don't know how you pronounce that even so we're gonna go to our i'm gonna go back here so we're gonna go to our door our research and development center where we can actually research and develop cars who would have thought and we can go design so first thing we're gonna do is start and build our first vehicle now i'm thinking you know since we are north america Things that are quite popular, even back here, are, um, you know, like a sedan, uh, just just like a generic car. 
Uh, and if we want to find out what really is popular, we can just go design vehicle. Oh, wait, we, we can't do that yet, actually. We'll go to office. We'll go to our reports. And we can just sort of see even... Uh, well, we can't even see that either. Oh, okay, we can see this here. So no, we'll see North... This is like what is in demand right now in North America. I just went to reports, industrial, body slash fuel type demand. So you can see what bodies or what kind of vehicles are in demand. So in North America, the Phaeton car... Uh, which is like an open top kind of really cheap vehicle. That's in high demand. 9% of uh, all market demand is for that. Um, Luxury Sedan is also in high demand. But it's trending downwards. Sedan is in high demand. A touring car, sports car, and so on. So a Phaeton is probably the best way to go. But um, they also don't stay around for too long. Like in real life, the Phaeton sort of went out of style in like the 19, 1920, maybe 1925, 1930. Not too long when people preferred actually nice cars. So we're going to start... Uh, and design our own chassis, engine, and gearbox right now. Starting off with a t engine, we can do, um, at the start here, we have an electric engine, a straight engine, or this is a, a motor, I guess, not an engine, electric motor, uh, straight, like an inline engine, a single cylinder engine, or a steam engine, I guess that's an engine, yeah. Uh, we can do electric if we want. Would not be efficient at all. You can't make a good electric car in, in the beginning of the game. Uh, and people won't buy them, but you can, um, you know, push and pull the markets to buy different vehicles like let's say i make a really really good electric car then more people will start buying electric cars because they're like wow this one's actually really good let's just buy electric cars now or if i make a really good steam vehicle uh people will buy more steam and actually steam is quite popular still uh for the next five or ten years or not it's, it's fairly popular we're gonna go back to a straight layout because it's probably the best thing to do we can go probably for a straight six cylinder a big old engine to start or maybe a four cylinder so if you follow the model t four cylinder four stroke gasoline uh, even though it's, it's four-stroke gas, and we can have a two-stroke vehicle, or we can have a uh, flathead. So I, I, obviously, uh, two-stroke is going to be more compact and cheaper. You can actually see here even, so we can see the, like the certain specs. So two-stroke uh, revs quite high. It's well, unreliable in this game. It's low. It's very very rough. It's not a smooth engine. It's not great on gas, uh, but it is quite compact. Uh, weighs not that much, and it's quite simple to design and research and build. Whereas the flathead is uh, a bit more smooth, quite a bit more smooth. It actually has less RPMs, cannot rev as high, uh, but it's much more reliable, better on gas. It is way less compact. Instead of like a five or a five star for, comp for size, it's, this is a, two, a one star or half a star. I will do it anyways, because it is much better. And then just naturally aspirated is the induction system right now. Uh, so now we can see here, now you can't actually see the engines in this game. That's, that's the only shame. I wish you could sort of see them and shape and mold them, etc. You can't, that's okay. Uh, this is a bit more of a tycoon kind of game than it is for, um, you know, designing cars or engines, etc. So we have a couple sliders. Now, all this game is a slider. It's basically, you can sort of choose what you want for a vehicle. Uh, you can also just change the bore and the stroke, which is obviously quite important. Um, the calculations for horsepower and torque, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Um, I think automation does a better job at that. But then again, this, this doesn't have to be a perfect representation. This is still a, a heck of a lot of fun, at least for me. Uh, what I like to do, because you make so little horsepower, is it's actually kind of overpowered to have like a very, very, very large stroke compared to the bore. Like a 2.4 liter sounds like a pretty fine size for a four-cylinder right off the bat. Uh, that's what's similar to the size of the Ford Model T, I'm not too sure. We're, I think we're building our own Ford Model T right now. And you can actually have like really, really exact bore and stroke, which is kind of cool, but kind of uh, yeah, not really that realistic. We'll make the engine nice and long, nice and wide, very heavy. It saves us a lot of money having it all these things. This is basically just changing it if you want to be uh, focused on like saving weight or just being normal weight, basically. And we can actually change the fuel economy. We don't need that. We don't need any good technology. We are in hard difficulty, so we just want a car to sell at the moment. Uh, and... Hopefully, we'll get something that just sells. I'm not too sure if we can get something to sell, but we'll try. No performance, no fuel economy, no dependability. Uh, we want to make something cheap, though. Per just remember, guys, the per capita, so, like, how much money they have to spend on a car every year, how much money they have, is over two, just over $200. So, our engine alone costs 230 is the estimated cost. So, it's we're, we're over budget right now still. Uh, we could go for a smaller engine. This is going to be a sort of a luxury car. This is the year 1900, so there wasn't much... If any, non-luxury cars. 71 torque. And honestly, 3 horsepower is honestly a fine amount. Uh, if we go to a 2-stroke engine, we can make 2 horsepower and 35 torque. And it only costs 6 more to have double the torque. So I think we'll keep that here. We'll develop the engine in 1 year's time because we can afford to. If, you make, if, we, if we take longer to develop things, it costs 
Uh, less money overall and also less money over time, but you know, it takes more money, it takes more time to develop it and time is money. If we design in six months, it'll be 15,000, which I think we can afford. So we'll do a six month development time, which seems pretty short. Uh, the easy one, they just give you like generic engine names. Honestly, like the EX one, that sounds like a fine name. I'm not gonna, I'm not too worried right now. We'll go to chassis. I always go to advanced just to design things because you can do a lot more and it's easier for me at least. I, they used to not have an assisted mode. They used to only have the advanced and I used to always do it. So uh, rear engine, rear wheel drive sounds perfectly fine for the first car, I think. And no, actually front engine, rear wheel drive. There's no good for rear engine bodies. And I'll just go leaf springs because it's just dirt cheap. That sounds fine. Lower the quality down to nothing because we don't need quality where we're going. So as the game progresses, there is inflation. So the prices of like goods and stuff changes over time. Um, and like the cost of things goes up depending on certain world events, etc. Uh, there is the world wars, there is the Great uh, Depression, etc. So people don't buy cars for a while. And it's something you really have to plan for. So we can actually make a very heavy and a very low height, a very heavy weight. So this is like the heaviest, the, the most stout. Uh, it also costs the, light, the least, the less cost the least and if we have the, the shortest height it saves us money as well so we have a very very short boy focus right now not on performance but just on sort of being a vehicle that drives and runs uh does the engine fit we can go check if the engine fits by selecting our engine it does not fit right now it's actually too short but it is quite of a skinny engine so we'll make it a bit smaller there there we go so the chassis weighs 500 pounds which is a fair bit. It's not the lightest chassis, it's not the heaviest chassis, and we'll finish it in six months. $25,000. So we're going to blow a lot of money on this first chassis. The X1, that sounds like a fine name. $126 is the estimated cost per chassis, which is pretty good. Next, all we have is we have barely any options for transmission. We just have a non-synchronized manual, and we'll just do probably a one speed for now. You get a forward, uh, and that's it. You don't get a reverse. That costs too much money. I just want to get a car that drives. Lower this all down to nothing because it, it honestly doesn't affect too much right now. We're just changing the sliders for the quality of materials, lowering down all the little design aspects, and just making it focus on fuel economy because that's all that matters right now. And we need we need to actually have a high torque. 70 torque is, is quite high for any car. Um, and $96 for the gearbox. There's no reverse gear, so this car better be light. And it only costs 9000 to design. And we'll just call it the T1 sounds like a fine name. So there we go, we got three things designed. I'm just going to save the game because it does crash sometimes. Uh, it's, 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 it's not terrible. Now we're just going to sim. So if you click this clock right here, this is like your passing of time, ending of each month. So each turn is one month, 12 turns in a year. So you just go one month. It sims pretty fast, my computer is pretty beefy. Um, but as the game progresses, it takes longer because there's more companies doing more stuff. So the first month we spent $8,800 on research and development, which so we, we lost 22 grand with all of our other costs because we still have a factory that's just not producing anything, which is fine. We'll just sim the rest of the five months. It just takes a second. Uh, like I said, it gets slower later on, uh, you know, especially with his lost companies. So we are down about $100,000 in six months, which is not good, obviously. We're blowing a lot of money on this car. We're putting a lot of eggs in one basket. I usually don't spend this much. Now if you go to uh, outsource chassis, so what this does, uh, it's almost like a, a page where you can actually buy uh, blueprints or buy cars from other companies. So if you go to actually, if you license a product, so we can license our chassis, our engine, our gearbox to other companies. Uh, and what I like to do for that is just charge nothing for it. So there's no upfront cost, you just pay a royalty because the AI is a lot more inclined to, to, to do that from us, that's fine. Uh, you can also platform share or uh, outsource and purchase so we can actually just sell our units and people can actually you know, request to buy some. So actually in this game, even though it's a car company tycoon game, you don't have to produce any cars. I've actually gone through an entire game without making a single car before, just making parts. Uh, it is infuriating, but you know, you can go through the whole game like that. You can go through the whole game without actually designing a vehicle. You can just uh, license cars from other companies too. You can just rebadge re them. However you want to play it, it's up to you. Uh, so right now, you can also platform a share, and there's no one platform sharing because that's, yeah. Uh, is there any license? Is there any licensing? So we can license a vehicle. Okay, so people are licensing some cars right now. We can actually license a coupe. Uh, we can actually license probably anything possible right now. Phaeton's probably the most popular. So right now, uh, Motorcard is selling their Cord model for uh, $33 Royalty per unit plus six hundred six hundred thirty-eight dollars total, and a thirty-two. Look at that licensing fee. Like I'm not paying that. I'll design my own car. 
and we'll design our own Phaeton because that's what people buy apparently and you can just see here everyone wants to buy Phaetons and this is sort of the required stats. So we'll just choose our engine, gearbox and chassis, yeah. Now we can go to design a vehicle. Now the game gives you uh, some base bodies that you can sort of tweak and design here just like an automation uh, and they change through the years obviously or you can just load up one of your pre-designed vehicles and for uh, the purposes of this video since there's not a lot of good ways to design these cars back in the day I'm just going to load a specific design body pre-designed and the game is a bunch of pre-designed cars and actually you can submit your own pre-designed cars to the developer so these are ones sort of made by the developer uh, and they don't look some of them don't look that pretty but some of them look actually pretty decent uh, especially if we go down here uh, this one's one of my favorite actually it's, it's actually just like a race car and the thing actually look, it looks pretty badass like this game you can't do too much with design wise but it looks pretty good I think so we just choose something that looks pretty basic and good like that seems like a fine little uh, open top you know kind of sporty kind of coupe thing here quite small and now we have the option to sort of move some sliders around again for our actual car now the basic stats right now it weighs 1567 and a half pounds 3 horsepower, 71 torque, a 1 speed, non-synchronized, look, why is there even a transmission, no one knows, 18 mpg average, pretty good actually, top speed of 18 miles an hour, um, costs 570 to make, just to make, not even to sell, which is crazy, so what we're gonna do is just play around with some sliders here and some little check boxes, things like that, we'll actually sell it towards the low, the lower middle class probably, and we'll lower down the performance, and just all the general material quality, so that'll, that'll, that saves us a lot of money, and people like that, it's not that important. And we'll up the dependability a bit because that is very important for people. So dependability is really important for certain cars. Uh, and it's easy, it's it's good. So this car is going to be expensive. Clearly. It's going to cost us, it's, we're going to take 18 months developing. And it's going to cost us 72000 to develop. And, we're gonna, and it's going to cost $503 to produce every model, which is obscene. But we'll do it anyways. So we'll build it. And that first car we're going to name it, we're going to name it the Model 1. This is like a very fine name. Uh, so this video... It's mostly just me chillaxing, uh, sort of showing you guys the game in this first video. Uh, I do plan on do doing more, hopefully, in this game, uh, besides just, you know, going through the campaign, because that, that can be boring. Um, now we're burning through a shit ton of cash, my gosh. Uh, we have got not a lot of cash on hand. We're actually going to stop right here. We're going to pause the simulation. So we've burned through almost all of our cash. We've got $100,000 left in seven months. So we're burning 20 grand a month. We've got five months of cash on hand. So we, we need to go to the bank here. Apply for a line of credit. We can have a 7,500. We, we should have done this first, actually. Uh, we can get a $25,000 bank loan. Actually, we could go bankrupt right here. <laughs> oh, no. We could go bankrupt right here. I should have played this more safe. We'll do this. And we'll do this. So take out a bond. Take out some loans. Uh, and we should be fine now. So we're going to burn through about $140,000. Oof, of our money out of our 160,000 so we should have 20,000 left over uh, and we aren't we aren't spending any on R&D now which is fine so now we have oh no we have two months of income left two months of money so yeah you play this game really close to your chest if you're on a hard difficulty so we're gonna actually sell this thing you click the computer you choose where you want to sell we only can sell it in Winnipeg uh, and I'm just gonna actually auto produce the cars do a bunch of auto settings because it's easier so we're selling the Maven Motors model one for a thousand dollars which is a lot um, can we sell even one? Oh, look at that. We sold 13. We sold 13 in a month. Uh, we are losing a lot of, <laughs> losing a lot of money. Uh, we sold 13 in one month. That's not bad. But do people seem to be pretty happy right now with this stuff? Uh, there is some new reports and stuff. So we sold zero vehicles last year. Zero vehicles in the last two years, actually. Um, and this microphone right here manages certain things. So um, you, get your, you can manage salaries. You can manage how much money you throw at the government to lobby. Or contracts, so people actually contract cars, engines, etc. off you. Uh, and they all want pickup trucks, an electric pickup truck, good for them. So we are losing a ton of money right now. Uh, there's not much hope, I'm not going to lie guys. But we can start selling our cars elsewhere. So the thing is, Winnipeg is such a small population, just 50,000, and they have no money. Like the US has a lot more money and a lot more income. So if you sell this actually even in, I think... Yeah, Chicago is quite a large city. We can open up a new di a new uh, distribution network for twenty thousand dollars, and I'll try to sell our cars there as well for a thousand dollars. I think we'll just do a thousand dollars across the board. Sim one more month, and I think we're not going to turn a profit because we we built a, a, a new place. Um, we're selling a lot more cars. 
We could actually go under here. Oh, we actually, oh, that's good. We, I just uh, went, okay. What I just did, I just went really quickly there. What I just did was made our company public, so I sold shares of our company. You can do that. It's pretty cool. Um, so I sold 25% of our company uh, to people who want to buy it in exchange for like $80,000. So that actually kept us afloat for a few months. We can sip one more month now. And I think we actually can pull it through here. Because we're not losing as much now because we are selling more cars. Um, I just want to see here. So if we go to the map. So we're actually making a profit in Chicago. We're making a profit in Winnipeg. We're making profits here. That doesn't. Now we are losing money on other stuff. So if we go back to Chicago. We can't redesign it. Oh yeah, we can't redesign it. It's perfect. Great. Great job, Rye. Okay, we can't sell to Calgary. They only have 5,000 people. That's not a lot. We could sell to Minneapolis. That's only going to cost us nine grand. I can th we can do that, I think. We can do that. And 1,000. So we're the only per we're the only person selling in Winnipeg or Minneapolis. But in Chicago, you can see here, there's a ton of different people selling their cars. Uh, they're, selling, they're selling a lot more. They're selling 130. Wow. And our car is just not good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine, basically. Look at now we look at that. Now we're making a lot of money. I mean, we're not losing as much money now. And we're losing our company value. We're gonna actually we're gonna sell us some more shares because we need some money to stay afloat here. And we'll open one place in Milwaukee, a very small center. So you can actually make uh, the the distribution network, the dealership is bigger, and you can sell more cars that way, but we are choosing not to because... Oh, look at that. We're actually selling... Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. We'll go back to here. Reports. We'll go to sales. Vehicle sales. We can see here we actually missed 20 sales. So we only can produce 100 cars a month. So what we can do now, though, is actually go back to Chicago. And we'll sell our cars for $1,200. Just in Chicago. We'll see. So we'll sell less cars in Chicago, but we'll make more money. So now we're still selling the same cars, but we're actually making, or we're still losing money, but we're losing less money. We'll actually sell them for $1,200 overall, I think. So $1,200 is the sale price everywhere. Now we're making $120. Look at that. We made a profit. Our first profit. Look at that. We sold the same cars, 101 cars, that we actually made a profit. Now we can probably sell them for more because we still have some, we're still producing not enough. We can sell for $1,350 maybe. And we'll see. Now we made a lot less profit. Okay, that's definitely not the sweet point. I think we'll just sell for twelve fifty. So we're slowly working on the uh, you know the sweet spot for how much cars we sell. Okay, now we're actually selling less because people aren't buying our cars right now because there's other cars. You can see actually in Minneapolis, there's more cars being sold now. We can sell for twelve hundred. I think there's probably more. Like Chicago, Chicago is a huge city. Yeah, we're actually losing money now. This is not good. We're on the verge of bankruptcy here, guys, but. All is not lost. Oh my god, our company is worth a lot more now. We just shot up in value. Look at that. Now we're, we're saved. Sell some more shares. So that's how the beginning of this game is going to go. We're just selling a bunch of shares. Perfect. Um, we almost got bankrupt in the first literally four three years. Um, So we need to sell more cars, I think, is a big issue. Uh, we are, aren't actually selling enough. We need to sell more cars. If we actually make a bigger... I don't want to do that in Winnipeg. Winnipeg is about 50,000 people good for Winnipeg. And if we read this, no. If we go, we need, we need to go two months. If we sim two months, we're going to pay a lot of money because we're actually paying back our, our, our some loans and stuff. We're losing a lot of money now. We had a one-time expense of 44000 I'm not sure what that was. And so we're selling only 56 cars. Not a lot of cars. If we go to outsource vehicles, and we'll go for... Actually, we'll actually outsource this. We'll go to... Other companies, and we'll see a sedan. We'll see if we can outsource a sedan. And what's the best bang for your buck here? Um, so this one. So you want to look at overall. Overall, 38, 40. Ooh, 40 is actually pretty good. For 730, that's actually that's actually really good. We're actually gonna do that. We'll call it the Maven Motors Model S. It's a, it's a sedan. It's got a 465 cubic centimeter one cylinder. Four horsepower though, but 16 torque. So less less torque, but more horsepower. We'll actually do that. That costed us 20 grand and royalty. So we're actually taking a big of a hit, bit of a hit there. But we're actually going to start selling that car now for two thousand dollars, and we'll actually uh, we'll keep the price of the Model One the same. We'll sell a little bit more of our company to stay afloat. I think. 
But we need to sell more. Okay, now we're selling back, to, back we're selling quite a bit of units now. Now we're selling only 29 Model S's and 65 Model 1's. So we're, we're, we're making, I mean, we're losing money, but you know, not, not as badly. We're only, we're only paying back $406 in loans. But we did actually just, wait, what was that one-time expense? Let's just do one more month. We might make money here. Okay, we're making money. Look at that, guys. Things are looking up. Almost went bankrupt in the first four years, so uh, I hope you guys have gotten sort of an idea of what this game is. So you basically just buy and sell cars. Uh, what we're going to do now, I think, is maybe tweak one of our cars. We've we got some sort of a cash flow, I think. Now, we got this figured out. We can go modify vehicle, modify the Model 1, a new trim. And what we're going to do is keep it all the same engine and transmission and everything. Because right now, the Model 1 costs $488 to produce every one, right? And we're going to do basically a refresh. And since, um, you know, technology is advancing and things like that, the cost of producing certain things goes down. And that certain thing right now is the car. So instead of being 480 the estimated cost will be 370 It's going to cost us 40 grand. That's not that good. That's, that's a lot of money, though, actually. If you can go for the middle class and make it a bit, a bit better of a car, maybe. There we go. Make it a bit better of a car. So it still costs a bit less. It's going to cost us... Oh, no, that's too expensive. That's definitely too expensive. Yeah, it's just too expensive a vehicle. Okay, we'll leave it for the lower middle class. I think yeah, that's fine. Three hundred eighty bucks. It's the model one. Um, uh, type two. The model one type two. I love these names. I'm very creative, as you could tell in this game compared to automation. So creative. Uh, now we need forty grand. So what, what I'm gonna do is we should be able to take out. Okay, we can't take out a bigger bank. Okay, we can sell more of our company. Our company is becoming more valuable. We're actually going to sell a good, even though, look at that. We've sold so far nearly 60% of our company. Our stock increased by 40% in a month, which is quite good. But we've got $200,000 to play with, which is a lot more than our starting amount. Look at that. Now we're making some money. We're actually losing money, but not by much. Um, last year we sold 800 cars. That's fine. And we'll just go three months in the future. And we'll actually start making money again, because we're, we're doing R&D right now, which is costing us a lot of money. But now... Uh, now we have a new model, a Type 2, which is going to be a thousand dollars. It's a better car than the old one. It's got two more rating points and another one extra. Like, the overall rating is was one higher, uh, and it's cheaper. So we're going to stop production of the Type 1 and just sell the Type 2. Now we sim one more month, and now we're making even more money. So we're actually selling more than enough Type Model 1 Type 2s, uh, and. Our company's worth $4 million now, jeez louise. Eh? And uh, so the, there's pros and cons to having a company worth more. Uh, the pros is since it's going up so fast in value, it doubled in like less than a year, quadrupled. People are buying our company, which is fine. But if we go to the shareholders page, we can see that companies are buying our company. So the company called Garden Pot, I know, great name, has bought 26% of our company for $4 a share. So they're, they're holding on to that because our company's worth $33 a share. There's a lot of technical mumbo jumbo here. So you want to always have over 50% of your company owned by yourself. Because if you have less than that, then you can actually um, get totally screwed over by other companies, basically. For the long story short. We'll pay off that loan. We've got a bond. That's fine. Oh, things are looking up, actually. We'll go another few months till the year 1904. And I think, look at that. We're making a steady cash flow now. Almost went bankrupt. I think that's the title. Almost went bankrupt in our first year in Deer City. Uh, so now our, our income's fluctuating here and there. We only sold 55 uh, Model 1 Type 2s, which is not a lot, obviously. Uh, and nothing else new has really happened. If we go one more month, please. We go to the next year, 1904. And we are losing money again. Well, we have a bit of a nest egg. We have no loan. We can take out a new loan, probably. If we go modify vehicle again and modify this... The car goes down to 340. So 340, we're saving money here. But if we actually modify the engine, the engine right now costs 150. Okay, 240. Yeah, the engine, we cannot develop a new engine. It's too expensive. Okay, so you know what? I think actually this is good for the first one. Uh, we can go to our showroom. If we can just see our past vehicles. So we can see our vehicle, the Model 1 and the Model 1 Type 2. They look the same. Uh, we sold 1,200 Model 1s and so far 350 Model 1 Type 2s. Uh, both powered by 2.4 liter four cylinder, which is kind of big, but it is a, it's a powerful boy. It's a top speed of 18 miles an hour, and this one actually is a top speed of 21 miles an hour. Uh, but it has three speed versus one speed, so our car cut corners on the transmission uh, and on the safety basically. And the Model S is a big sedan with only a one cylinder. 
Um, looks kind of darker. That's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a bit of a different video. It's more, it's semi-informative because I do love this game with, with uh, you know, I don't want to say all my art. I love this game a lot. This is a great game uh, called Gear City. For those guys who don't know, check it out on Steam. A lot of fun. Uh, if you are more into Tycoon kind of games, I do want to do more stuff. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see just some more of this. Uh, me sort of playing through the campaign just a little bit. I want to play Automation's campaign. Uh, but I'm doing a lot of automation content and I didn't want to like overload it by just doing more campaign. I have an amazing build coming up though in the next couple days. Uh, so if you guys aren't into that, aren't into this, but the builds more, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, spoiler alert, it's gonna get hundreds and hundreds of, mi of miles per gallon. It's gonna break the game, it's gonna be great. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this kind of a weird, uh, video. Just sort of chilling, not really a playthrough, but sort of a playthrough of Gear City. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, I'll see you next time.